peekaboo, Pikachu. Creepy. Y'all ain't getting a clip show today. No, you're getting something different. You're getting an introduction in this land of Moo to a new person in my life. Person. This is someone I've become very attached to in that short time that they've been here. And that is definitely the problem. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to... That, you know, it almost rhymed. It almost worked. It didn't. Anyway, Maestro, please, drumroll for the introduction to... Oxnard from Oxnard, ladies and gentlemen. What is the story behind Foxtard? Oh, I'll tell you. For one, why is he from Oxnard? Pfft. You don't fucking need to know, do you? You are not entitled to every single piece of information that's out there. I know Google has spoiled you, but there are secrets and they're for your own good. Why is he a tard? Pfft. Fucking look at him. Just look at him. That is a tardy fox. That is a fox that if foxes were playing reindeer games, he would not be allowed to play. No. Which would be weird in the first place, because why are foxes playing reindeer games? Santa segregates this shit. He's a bad man. He won't let the foxes play with the reindeer. All of us would be better off if, if he would, but... Fat bastard. Whatever. Whatever, Santa. Done with your shit. Anyway, uh, before we go any further, this is a tattoo that is on my arm, by the way, just in case anyone was getting suspicious minds on me. Uh, and it is not a terrible tattoo. I want that stipulated from the beginning. This is not the worst tattoo in the world. This does not belong on ugly tattoos necessarily. Otherwise, I would have called it Fox Turd, but it's Fox Tard. The catch is it's not the tattoo I went in for. <laughs> Uh, the shortest version possible, which will still be long-winded, so you might want to make yourself a beverage, is the the artist that I spoke to who has done work on me before, has done work on my family, friends. We're familiar with each other. Uh, at one point or another, we both understood that I wanted this image. Not my hand, just imagine whatever this was supposed to be. And I had stipulated, okay, this is what I want to get. Here's a photograph of... Uh, you know, just what you need, or what you might need, rather. It was never so pretentious to say what you need. But here's a guide to help you with colors and whatnot. And that's it. And at one point, I have it in writing. That was understood by both of us, because he had repeated it back to me. Then I get to the appointment, and apparently the, the script has been changed entirely. We're no longer putting on Hamlet. We're putting on Death of a Salesman. Oh. And like, when I got there, I had no reason to suspect anything had changed because the image I wanted had been printed off. It was right there while he was working on stencils. And so, Danger Will Robinson never showed up! I, I wish I'd have been a robot. I might have been able to fix it, but I'm human and I fuck up. But subsequently, I didn't feel it necessary to go, Now, by the way, we're doing that one, right? Yeah? Okay, good. So I didn't double check. Uh, and then he lays the stencil, and A, it's upside down, because it's right here. B, it parts of it are missing anyway, because we were gonna have to do the second half of it at another time. So it just kinda looks slightly wrong, but it looks vaguely, it's a bunch of purple lines that look vaguely fox-like, so meh. And then he starts working, and I don't watch people while they work, because it's rude, and it just, it's also kind of uncomfortable, because then there's pressure on you to make conversation. <laughs> I don't want to make conversation. I just want you to. I just want you to do this. Just do this, and we're done. <sighs> so 20 minutes later, I actually look, and boom, boom, boom! It's not the right fucking thing at all. And the warning should have been the photograph that I gave him for reference was taped up on the lamp. But because I had given it to him for reference, I thought he was using it for reference. I just. And he was. I just didn't realize he was using it for the entire reference. Yeah, he ended up going with a photograph, which is not one I would have chosen if I wanted to go with a photograph in the first fucking place. 
But uh, yeah, so by the time I figured it out, it is way too late to go back. So I go, well, you know what? Maybe this will be better. You know, I've been trained to, to try and think this way and to, to assume that I usually have it wrong. So maybe this will be better. Maybe this will blow me out of the water for how amazing it will be. <gasps> no. No, when he was done, I looked at him and went, no, no, you're not. You can't be done. <laughs> you're not done. Except I didn't say any of that. I just went, oh. And when I looked in the mirror, I knew I didn't like it. But I have delayed reactions. <laughs> Jeremy Renner could show up right now and tell me he loves me and whisk me away. And it would take me a good... 30 miles before I finally figured out, oh my god, what the hell just happened? Ah! So, I, I knew I wasn't happy, but I couldn't figure out why. So, uh, and he's all proud of himself. That was the sad part. He was just so excited and so happy for himself. And just, he was looking at it like he's got a new portfolio piece. Mm. And he actually asked me, he's like, do you love it? I'm like, uh, well, you know, it's not a complete piece. When it's a complete piece, then I'll know. <laughs> no, I knew the minute I got in that fucking car. <laughs> I got in the car, went home, like bad girl, I took off the bandage long before I was supposed to. And I just stared at it. Stared at it in its tardy face. And I just hated it. I was so upset. I wasn't necessarily mad, I was just upset. And so I walked away from it. Which is impressive considering it's attached to my arm. I stopped looking at it for a while. I thought, well, just let it sit. You know, you've had a very stressful few days. You've had a lot of high emotions going on. And before those few days, you had a few stressful weeks. So maybe this was just a thing. No, no, I just didn't like it. <laughs> I showed it to a few people. Everyone had the same reaction of, well, it's not terrible. <laughs> That's not good enough. And it's not terrible, but it's also not good. It's... Unfortunately, what ended up happening, as we discovered, as I asked, well, I didn't ask, I full-on said to the artist a little bit later, I'm like, hey, dude, the more I look at this, the less I like it. I'm, hey! This fucking dog. I will kill you. In the face. It will hurt. And you will get no more cookies. Serious business. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so I messaged him saying, uh, dude, I don't. I don't like this. And he's like, oh shit, really? Wow, I, I'm so sorry, but what can I do to fix it? And I'm like, I don't think you can. Because it's, even if it were what I wanted it to be, which it's not, and I don't understand why it's not, because I thought we were both on the same page with doing this one. It, it's just not right. And the ways it's not right, it's gonna be too hard to fix, I think, for right now. Um, admittedly, I have high emotions. And, uh, he's like, well, remember, it's not complete. I'm like, yeah, no, I know, and I don't think completing it's going to fix it. And he finally eventually admitted that, the, well, we couldn't do this image because there wasn't enough detail. So he decided we were going to do this one. But maybe I should have spoken to you about it before the appointment. Maybe. Maybe you should have. Yes, maybe you should have. Because that's the thing. I had this situation been verbalized, had he said, now by the way, I know you wanted this, but I can't do this, so we're gonna do this, I'd have said, no, we're fucking not. But, we can do a different thing. I can just put this design on a back burner and find a different artist who feels like they can do it, or is more comfortable with it, whatever. You and I can do this, with far less chance of you screwing it up. That's not my attitude, well, it wasn't before, now it definitely is. But that's how it would have been. He would have still gotten money, I would have still gotten a tattoo, and I wouldn't have this. But he didn't speak to me about it first. He didn't give me that chance to verify. And yeah, so now I have an ugly tattoo that I can't stand. And I know, again, it's not a terrible tattoo. But it's also not what I wanted. And unfortunately, for what he wanted to do, he tried to make a realistic mirror image of a photograph that in this case, though he got close, he didn't have the technical uh, skill to fully pull off, I don't feel. Judging by how it looks and what the actual photograph looks like. It's not the worst tattoo in the world. It's not at all. And it's, I, for everyone who's getting ready to say and has already said, well, don't be embarrassed by it. It's not too bad. 
no, it's not too bad, but it's on my body. I'm not happy with it. It needs to go away, period. I choose tattoos because I want them to serve whatever purpose they serve, be they a representation of me or more specifically, there's something I want to look at and it makes me happy. My Stargate tattoo serves no purpose other than for me to look at it and go, Stargate. My Don Hertzfeld tattoo, same thing. Every time I look at it, I laugh and it makes me happy. My seahorse, I just think is gorgeous, so eh. <laughs> But this isn't something I want to compensate with. This isn't something I want to go, oh well, it could be worse. No, it's going to be better. It's going to be fixed. And thankfully, uh, hopefully around sometime in January, it will be fixed. But yeah, so I appreciate the sentiment for everyone who's out there going, oh, you don't need to be embarrassed or oh, it's not so bad. I appreciate the mentality, but yes, it is for me. It is. It could be, if I went in, it's to me it's like I went in t with a picture of a potato. Potato. Drawing of a potato at that. And I came out with this really ornate-ish photo of mashed potatoes. Which would look weird as a tattoo, but moving on. It could be the best mashed potatoes you've ever seen on somebody's skin. It's still not what I wanted. And if it still doesn't make me happy, it's gotta go. So yeah, uh, the moral of the story is now I have to watch every tattoo artist like a hawk. <laughs> and my trust issues are that much worse. Awesome. But it's water under the bridge. We've, yeah, I, got, I ended up with a little bit of a refund and he did keep offering to try and help, but I've I found someone else who's going to fix it. So it's okay. But yeah, so for now... <laughs> for at least a month, if not possibly a little longer, Foxtard from Oxnard is going to be with us, and we'll see what kind of shenanigans we can get up to with him, because uh, it's too good to pass up, frankly. <laughs> so, yeah. Damn it, Janet. So yeah, that was one of the bigger events in my life recently, um, and I now have to go so that I can A, go fucking shovel, and then B, I, I have a thing to do that depending on how well it goes, I'll tell you about it once it's done. Maybe a while. Don't worry, it's nothing bad. It's just, I'm not sure how I feel about talking about it just yet. So we'll see. And if it goes terribly, well then maybe you'll hear about it sooner, because potentially that would be hilarious. But, um, yeah. I'm gonna go. If you have shitty tattoo situation stories, feel free to share them, be they you administered or you received. Um, and if there's anything you'd like to see Foxtar do, I'll talk to him. We'll see what he's capable of. I'm just kidding. This isn't a request line. Where the hell do you think you are? Ha! <laughs> it was going to be a request line, but then some asshole somewhere along the line decided to cross a few boundaries, and now, no requests. Ever. Way to go, fuck nut. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go. Hope you all have had a wonderful day. I love you all dearly. And, uh, see you later. Out. Go. Now. I gotta push you out the door. <laughs>